Um, this is about uh, chain adjustment on a motorcycle. Uh, some people find it, like me, very, very difficult. I've always had a struggle with it. Uh, I've been riding bikes since 1989 and I've only had two shaft drive bikes, which was a, a GS 1000G. And that 1000G had been bored out to 1170. I had a shaft drive, never needed to worry about it, and a Honda Revere. That was a shaft drive 600 V twin, never worried about it. But all the chain bikes I've had, and it's quite a, a responsibility because it can mean it can mean money actually. Um, that's it there. That's the, the Triumph back end, the single sided swinging arm, and it's to be between 35 and 40 mil. Where does it say? Checking adjustment and lubrication of the drive chains must be carried out with the motorcycle set up on a paddock stand so that the rear suspension hangs free. Okay, so that there'd be weight on the back wheel. You would have, you would have thought, wouldn't you? There'd be pressure on that back wheel being on the paddock stand. I don't quite understand how it all works, but I'm just going by what the manual says. And the vertical movement of the drive chain must be 35 to 40 millimeters, okay? I'll go out to the bike in a second and I'll just check that using a... I'll use a measuring tape. But does that mean the entire chain or the bottom of the chain? I'm assuming it must mean that if you move it up to 40 mil and any part of that chain goes beyond the 40 millimeters, it's too slack, yeah? And if the chain only moves 30 millimeters, it's too tight. I've been struggling with this understanding for a long time. Like if you had two lines, you imagine two lines, and it's to stay within those two lines, the entire chain. What I usually do is I go from the bottom of the chain, measure up 40 millimeters to the bottom of the chain, and that's my adjustment. But I think I'm wrong. I think the, the entire chain mustn't, the actual whole of the chain must not go out up with that 40 millimeter range. So it's something I've struggled with for a long time. It does mean money because your chain wears out quicker. Um, right, I'm gonna go with the bike. I need to get new batteries in this thing. And uh, next time I speak, I'll be at the bike. Right, let's put you on the stand, let's have a look. See what things look like I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to adjust the chain. I've been struggling with chains for many years. Um, it's, it's quite important because they're very expensive. Now on the Daytona, need a rag, 17 mil spanner, a big Triumph C spanner. Um, measuring tape, chain oil, and torque wrench. First thing to do is just check see if there's enough oil on it. Mm, it's a wee bit dry. I just spray a tiny bit of oil on it. I just usually go in the back. It's not, not the correct way to do it, but it does work its way in. And it'll do for now. I was doing it properly, we'd go on both sides of the chain. Just, keep, just do one circuit. That's it, it's done one circuit. Because the bike's not going anywhere, it'll, it'll, it'll find its way down into all the links. That's where it's supposed to go. Right. You get the measuring tape, and I usually set it on 10 inches to, as I start off. Find the center between the two sprockets and which I've marked on my swing arm. I'll bring you around here actually. This bit. Let's see if you're seeing. That looks alright. Okay. So Triumph manual says 35-40mm of travel, so there's the centre 
put it on for to mill, get a point on the chain and the whole chain has to move. Like I'm, I'm measuring from the bottom, the bottom point. That, you have to lock the lock that show thing away. Lock the measuring tape. So that's 40 mil, right? The bottom of that has to go up 40 mil and it's not. Let's see if it's gone up because it's the 35 between 35 and 40 mil. Yeah, it's going 35. It's actually going between 35 and 40. But the saying on the forums, that's not bad actually. We'll go, we'll put it round the chain round, see if it's in tight spots. I don't think there is on this chain, but one thing we must do is to check the tight spots and then measure from the tight spot. And chain has to be quite freely, freely moving, like cleaned and oiled. You know, if it's not, clean it and oil it. Just clean it with some hot soapy water, let it dry or dry it off with paper towels and then put some oil on it. Actually seems okay, there doesn't seem to be any tight spots. Do it from there, check it from there. As I clean this and look after it and lubricate it quite well. It's doing not bad, this chain is lasting quite well. Right, to get the measuring tape centre between two sprockets, get it on roughly 40 mil. Yours might be a different have a look in the manual for yours. And then move it up. That's the bottom. Yeah that's moving 40 mil. They were saying on the forums it should probably be a bit slacker. Try it at 45. We're actually moving 45, that's perfect. I'm happy with that. So And what I've learned is the travel of the chain is you measure from a point on the chain and that point has to move. That is the actual slack. So if you measure from the bottom, it's that bottom bit has got to move whatever your manual says. If you measure from the top, the top has to move what the manual says. So that's that's perfect adjustment. Um, that's it really. Make sure it's cleaned, oiled. Check it, spin the chain till you get to the tightest point and then measure it at the tightest point. If it's too tight, too loose, just loosen it or tighten it, whatever. Um, this one is it's a single sided swinging arm, so there's only one bolt at the back and then you've got a, seesaw, a kind of a ring, a cam in the back. You've got one bolt there, you undo that and then you can see the cam in there. That tires in the way. You turn that cam. And that tightens or loosens, depending on which way you tighten it. Um, but I hope that's been useful. It's, it's, I've struggled with it for a wee while. You know, at what point you measure measure that slack? Of what do they mean by slack? Does the chain have to go between? Or does the entire chain just move between 35 and 40 mil? And if that were the case, it would be too tight. The the whole measure, pick a point, and that's the measurement.